Yo, what's happening? It's Benjamin D'Souza here, aka Apex, and you are tuning into the Apex 3900 show. And today I just want to make a quick video because I was scrolling through TikTok. I wish I had the, I wish I had saved that video. But anyway, it was a video of this female, young female, probably about maybe 19, maybe late teens, early 20s, maybe. Dark skin, very attractive. I'm not gonna front. She was she was very attractive. And uh she was saying something about how, you know, people used to call her back in the day, people used to call her African booty scratcher. But now since she's glowed up, you know, she doesn't hear that anymore. And I'm like, okay. Cause y'all motherfucking Y'all African motherfuckers, bro. Y'all be y'all be blowing me with that shit. Oh, they they used to call me African booty scratcher. Back in elementary school, like, okay, all right, all right. I myself have used the term African booty scratcher. I have levied African booty scratcher at another person as an insult. Yes, you know when the last time I did that? 1990-something, like early 90s, mid-90s, like back in when I was in elementary school. Like, that's an elementary insult. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time we got to middle school and high school, our roast got more sophisticated. You know, by the time we got to middle school and high school, now, now we're cracking on motherfuckers for, you know, cracking on their shoes, cracking on their clothes, their whack-ass haircut, their yee-ass haircut. You know, we might crack on their, their body composition and what have you. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time you get to high school, motherfuckers ain't sitting up there like, you old African booty scratcher looking at. Like, come on, bro. Like, niggas is not doing that shit. And I'm in my mid to late 30s, right? Since I've been an adult, I have not heard the term African booty scratcher from another adult levied against another adult as an insult. But you know what I have heard? Akata. This is I used to I used to work with some Nigerians probably about 2013, right? And this is before I didn't even know what the term Akata meant, right? And then after I got fired from the job, right? Got fired from the job and you know went back to school, whatever. Woo -woo -woo. Then, you know, I came to know what that term Akata meant. And I'm like, like that that bitch that bitch uh what was her name I, you know i ain't gonna say her name that bitch so-and-so called me a nakata <laughs> and she had to be like at the time bro she had to been about early to mid 40s you know what i'm saying so i'm like come on bro so for all you for all you Africans out there, bro, now this might offend some some people. I don't give a fuck, but, like, get the fuck over that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get over that shit, you African booty scratcher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Niggas calling us Akatas every day. You know what I'm saying? You got grown-ass motherfuckers in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s. Saying a kata this, those are katas that. But you know, some motherfuckers in elementary school call their ass an African booty scratcher. Now they're they you know, they're scarred for life. Yeah, yeah, skip, yeah, in my Shannon Sharp voice. But yeah, man, that's all I got, man. I'm gonna make this quick, man. That's just my my take on this African booty scratcher. You know what? I think I'm gonna start calling people African booty scratchers, man. We we need to bring that back. I kind of like it. It's, it's got a, it's got a nice ring to it. You African booty scratcher. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start bringing that back, man. But anyway, man, that's all I got, man. Thick gizzle, man. Get up on that.